It's news time. Information is power. The current, the news headline. ESN, IPOP. Those supporting violence are oblivious of its urgency in the north. It is very unfortunate and worrisome that some people defend the violent attacks, destruction and atrocities of unknown gunmen in the southeastern part of the country, simply because they assume that the violence is politically motivated or a conspiracy theory. These kinds of opinions after public support, which hinders directly seamless security operations in the region. And those with this mindset are oblivious to how the Boko Haram insurgency started in the region. Those with this mindset uh, are actually those oblivious to the Boko Haram insurgency which started in the northeast. The Boko Haram terrorists started as a religious sect with extreme views and opinions where the pioneer leader of the organization, Muhammad Yusuf, was a scholar and a charismatic personality that travels across markets and cities in the north, teaching about his doctrines. During the days of Muhammad Yusuf, a lot of people from the northern part of the country thought the Boko Haram organization is a genuine and non-violent group of Islamic students. Later on, they started attacking police stations to accumulate weapons, and this is what opened people's eye to reality. The Boko Haram uses propaganda videos to recruit gullible young souls and spread false theories about their ideology. They used this opportunity to increase in strength and number, and this is the more reason why it is unrealistic to support or defend violent agitators in southern Nigeria. The southern part of the country is a strategic region that immensely contributes to national growth, and the region helps to generate high revenue for the federal government, which is used to fund capital infrastructural developmental uh, projects across the six geopolitical zones of the country. Therefore, allowing violence to breed will cast doom on the economic growth and development of the region, and the wanton attacks by unknown gunmen have already created instability and anxiety amongst residents supporting these activities, and this will do more harm than good. Out of school children, uh, figure is witnessing a massive rise of funds everywhere. We can't travel in peace. The economy is crumbling. People are burnt while traveling. The protesters marched from Audubaku secretariat to the Kanu, uh, you know, government house. Where security operatives received the group of protesters, listened to them, and promised to take the matter further to the appropriate quarters. Meanwhile, following the recent spike in terror attacks in Sukuto and Katsina states, President Muhammad Buhari has dispatched a high-level delegation made up of heads of national intelligence uh, and security services to the two states. According to a statement by the President's Senior Special Assistant on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shu on Friday, Buhari expects the delegation or, uh, to, represent, to present an immediate situation report and recommendations on actions to follow to effectively deal with the worrying situation. And also, the Funk Social Democratic Party, SDP, Professor Yowusei Aga has urged separatist agitators to go about the agitations in a civilized manner to avoid bloodshed. In an interview with Vincent Kalu, the professor Agia, a former senator who has served twice as minister and twice as ambassador, said that the three zones that have produced president should wait for the other three zones to have president. After that, he noted that the president should be chosen purely through popular contest, the void of zoning. Many Nigerians have tried to go back in history to situate Nigerians' problems in the amalgamation of 1914. They say that Nigerians' amalgamation into one country should never be taking place because of our differences. These groups insist that the amalgamation's expiry date is over and is now the time for the dissolution of the Federation. But I say these people are wrong. There is no manual for the formation of nations, wars, accidents, imperialism, Necessity, agreement, arbitrations, and consensus have all given birth to countries. Our nation was born from imperialism and they became a British colony after the Berlin Conference of 1884 to 1885. But we shook off the shackles of colonialism and emerged as an independent nation. The whole world still uh, understanding that Nigeria would be a great nation and would wipe away the tears of all black people of the world by building a great democracy and a republic where justice and honor, peace and progress will be showcased. The reasons for the failure to attain greatness are that we have poor leaders 
and poor followers who have not been uh, who have not been able to make nation building their number one priority. Our leaders have continued to wallow in ethnic racism and corruption. Ironically, it was based on pan-African unity and nationalism, and our founding fathers got independence. But soon after independence, we have systematically uh, destroyed every fabric of nation building through corruption and ethnic racism. The last six years have been the very worst in throwing up Nigeria's fault lines. The parties have failed to give leadership and they lack ideological commitment, purpose or clarity. The weak institutions of states have been unable to defend democracy and the Nigerian people have yet not resolved on nation, national greatness. When we decide, nobody can stop us, the professor says. The professor also noted that the Nigerian's elite must come together and overcome their apathy and decide to make Nigeria great through comprehensive restructuring of the federation, saying that we need more efficient and uh, learner federal, civil and public service, and that we need the state to be stronger and the federal government to divest itself uh, of its overwhelming control at the center, saying that we must resolve to tackle tribalism with greater intensity that we have fought corruption, saying that the last thing we need to do in addressing our nation's calamity is to recruit into politics and public sphere people with sound character who see wrong as wrong and who are courageous to stand up to forces that seek to destroy Nigeria. Asking about insecurity, saying that we started with Boko Haram and now ISWAP, saying that the United Arab Emirates recently named some Nigerians sponsoring the insurgent group, saying that Nigerians were excited, thinking that those who have contributed to the plunge in this country into the crisis that has got millions of dollars and the candidates that followed will be prosecuted. However, the presidency said charging them is not a priority, and the professor was asked about his view on this particular statement, responding that the view is that the government has been living in denial and that Nigeria is first starting from a civil war that religious extremists and ethnic bigotry are foisted over us. The government has invented semantics of deception, which is helping terrorists by packaging them as bandits and even worse, non-state actors. I was working on eggshells to call the foreign Fulani terrorists arsonists, rapists and land grabbers through genocide as non-state actors. Kidnapping has been packaged as a foreign, uh, flourishing business as well. Perhaps this government is slowful, uh, uh, slowly manufacturing our consent and clandestining origin of our surrender to a Taliban Taliban type insurrection and the facts are too glaring to say otherwise, saying that the government knows the sponsor of these asymmetric wars and they know how to block their funding and know far more than they wish the public to know. We lift our eyes to God in the knowledge that every terrorist era has an expiry date and may God Almighty hasten such expiry. And this was the response of the professor talking about how the government has uh, claimed you know, to be weak to address the situation of the terrorism in the nation. The movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Maso, has celebrated the release of 19 of their members who have been detained since 2006. The celebration coincided with 10 years anniversary of the death of Igbo leader.